In this video, I'm going to be talking about secondary breast cancer. This is also known as metastatic breast cancer or stage four breast cancer. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Dr. Tasha and I'm a breast cancer surgeon. And if you want to learn more about breast cancer and health, then this is the place to be. The death of Sarah Harding from metastatic breast cancer at the age of 39 has highlighted how people are still dying from breast cancer. Although the outcome from breast cancer treatment continues to improve, unfortunately, people are still dying from this disease. In fact, this is a statistic not many people know about. Around 31 people every day die from breast cancer in the UK. Every single day. When you hear the word metastatic or secondary, what does that mean? Essentially, this means that the cancer has spread from the breast to another part of the body. Around 20 to 30% of patients with early stage breast cancer will go on to develop metastatic disease. And so most cases of metastatic breast cancer arise from a previously treated breast cancer. Distinct from recurrent metastatic breast cancer though, is what we call de novo metastatic breast cancer. De novo means the beginning, and it describes patients who present with distant disease at the time of their breast cancer diagnosis. And approximately six to 10% of patients will present with metastatic disease at their first cancer diagnosis. So what are the common sites where breast cancer spread? Well, these are normally the lung, the liver, the bones, and the brain. Occasionally, it can spread into the lining of the abdomen or appear on the surface of the skin. The symptoms that patients experience really does depend on where the cancer has spread to and what organ is involved. And it's so important to recognize what we call the red flag symptoms. If bones are involved, then you may feel like a dull ache or a sharp pain in the bones that is persisting and you have no history or recall any history of trauma. If the liver is involved, the symptoms actually can be a bit vague. You may experience a sensation of bloating, abdominal swelling, or abdominal discomfort, especially in the right upper part of your abdomen. Loss of appetite can also be a sign that something isn't quite right. Lung symptoms may include a non-productive cough that persists. You might experience sharp pain when breathing in or if you're taking deep breaths, or you might even experience shortness of breath. If the disease has gone to the brain, the symptoms may include unsteadiness on your feet, nausea and vomiting, and you may even get visual disturbances or even mood swings. Spinal cord compression is a rare red flag symptom, but it needs urgent attention. Now, the symptoms include severe lower back pain that doesn't go away. You may get numbness or electrical shock sensation, pins and needles down the arm or leg. You may feel weak um, in terms of, you know, you can't use your arms or legs, so there's weakness there. Numbness around the back passage, inability to empty the bowel or bladder, and also not being able to control the bladder. If you get any of these symptoms, you need to get urgent medical attention. Unfortunately, whilst treatable, metastatic breast cancer cannot be cured. It is impossible to predict how long somebody will continue to live with a secondary breast cancer diagnosis. The aim of treatment is to prolong life and give the best quality life possible. The five-year survival rate for stage four breast cancer is around 22%, with a median survival around two to three years. Treatment of metastatic breast cancer is usually ongoing throughout the person's life, and it's not just a one session treatment. The aim is to stay ahead of the cancer, which may become resistant to a certain type of treatment, but then may respond to another. Scans are usually undertaken throughout treatment to monitor progress and to see how the cancer is responding to that treatment. Sometimes the cancer will stop responding to all the drugs that have been conventionally used to treat metastatic breast cancer. And when this happens, then clinical trials would be the next step in trying to access drugs that may be of benefit, but not widely available. So although survival from breast cancer continues to improve, unfortunately death from metastatic breast cancer 
has not significantly improved. We need more research into metastatic breast cancer. We need more innovative drugs. And we need more accessible clinical trials. People are still dying from this disease and we need to do more so that this is a thing of the past. Thank you for watching and consider subscribing if you don't want to miss all of the upcoming videos. I'll see you in the next one.